Okay, hello Year 8. I know some of you were struggling um, with the idea of ratio because this was a new topic and I just wanted to provide some help with that and it should help you with the Show My Homework quiz that I put up and also task 328 on compare quantities using ratios. Okay, so um, there are a couple different things I want to consider in this and I want to kind of take it back to basics. Um, I want to start off with this, okay? Um, if in a classroom I have three boys and two girls, so three boys and two girls, I want to know what the ratio of boys to girls is and we use a colon in the middle that means two so boys to girls now the ratio of boys to girls in this particular class would be three to two because I've got three boys and I've got two girls okay however I could also be asked for the ratio of girls to boys and that does change the answer, and it's important to acknowledge this. Changing that wording round does change the answer. So what do you think the ratio of girls to boys in my class here is? If you said two to three, you would be exactly right. The ratio of girls to boys in this class is absolutely two to three. Okay, I'm now going to move this on and talk about some other ratios that we can consider as well. So I'm going to just rub this one out. Okay, what about this one? If we've got the ratio of smiley faces... Two unhappy faces. So I'm going to start off with the ratio of smiley faces to unhappy faces. So smiley faces to unhappy faces. What do you think the ratio of smiley faces to unhappy faces would be? Well, there are one, two, three, four smiley faces. And there are one, two, three, four unhappy faces. So the ratio of smiley to unhappy is four to four. And therefore, if we had the ratio of unhappy faces to smiley faces, it would still be four to four because it's just those numbers switched around, but they're the same number, okay? So that's the first part of it. I'm now going to look at some slightly more complex ones and they're more similar to maybe the ones on um, Hegarty Mass but also the later questions in the Show My Homework quiz. So this next question is literally taken from Show My Homework. So we have Colin and Dan and they are marking exam papers and it says here that each set takes Colin 23 minutes and Dan one hour. We want to know, we want to express the time it takes Colin and Dan as a ratio in its simplest form. So it's really important the wording there. We've been asked for the ratio for Colin to Dan. Now it took Colin 23 minutes and it took Dan one hour. Now there's a problem there. One is in minutes and the other is in hours. We can't have that, it has to be in the same units. So I am going to change my one hour to 60 minutes. 
So it will take Colin 23 minutes to Dan's 60 minutes. And that's my ratio. The order you do it in and the units you use are really, really, really important. Okay, I'm gonna do another example of one of the ones from Hegarty Mass because they were the ones that were slightly trickier. So I'm just gonna rub this one out and I'm gonna give this next bit. Okay, so our other one on Hegarty Mass that we are going to do is we have for every one liter of water used to make a medicine, 193 milliliters of sucrose and 61 milliliters of saline solution are used. Okay, I have got to express the amount of water, sucrose, and saline solution as a ratio. Okay, it's a very long question. But again, the order is important. So we have to express the amount of water comes first, to sucrose comes next, which I'm just gonna put as an S, to saline solution, which I'll put as a double S, saline solution. We need to write how much we have of each of those. Now, again, we've got some problems. We have one liter of water, 193 milliliters of sucrose and 61 milliliters of saline solution. So we've got different units. Okay, so we had, I'm gonna write them here, one liter, 193 milliliters and 61 milliliters. Now I need to change this one liter into milliliters. Does anyone remember how many milliliters there are in one liter? If you said 1,000, you would be absolutely right. There are 1,000 milliliters in one litre. So now I've got them all in milliliters, I can now do my ratio. So water, I had one litre, which we know is 1,000 milliliters. So that's gonna go there. Sucrose, 193. And saline solution, 61. And that is my ratio. Any questions, make sure you get in touch with me, but hopefully that's helped a little bit more with what you need to be doing for your homework.